Hey guys, it's Max. Today we are going to be taking a look at the future. And by future, I mean something that's futuristic but available right now. We're going to play back full resolution 8K red RAW files. And we're not going to do it on a beastly computer that costs over $4,000 that can barely play it back. We are going to be doing so on this system that you guys see right here. Thin and light laptop. This is one of NVIDIA's new RTX Studio laptops, and this video is made in partnership with them, so thank you to NVIDIA. And I'll show you exactly how something so thin, so light, and super portable can play back full resolution 8K Red Raw. Now, I've always been a huge fan of laptops because you can be productive on the go. Say you're traveling, or even if you just want to get out of the office and do some work at, say, a coffee shop, do some work outside and get some sunlight, or even, hey, that obviously is a joke, but there have been a few times where I was on some strict deadlines and I just had to get the job done. So whatever you're doing, it's nice to be able to have portability, but there's always been one downside with laptops and that has been the graphics performance. Starting with the first laptop that I bought for video editing, going all the way up to the latest and greatest fully specced out MacBook Pros, the limitation is the graphics. That's what's holding back the whole system. System. Well, now we have some very powerful graphics options and NVIDIA is working together with the laptop manufacturers to make sure that everything is running smoothly and you get the best performance. So all of these studio laptops, they are certified by NVIDIA for video editing, for graphics design, if you're doing 3D modeling, a bunch of different creative tasks, but not only the hardware, also the drivers with NVIDIA Studio drivers. In front of me, I have the MSI P75 Creator 9SF laptop. It has a color accurate matte display. It has a Core i9 8 core processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, and of course, an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Max-Q graphics card. So it is NVIDIA Studio certified. And uh, we are gonna be not only testing this out and playing back full 8K RAW, but we are also gonna be comparing it to a fully specced out MacBook Pro, which comes in at a little bit over $1,000 more expensive. Because if you're doing a video like this, what kind of video is it without some comparisons? As I mentioned, these laptops have the same identical processors, and they also have the same amount of RAM, and in Cinebench R20, you see the scores are fairly similar. The MSI does score higher because of its better thermals. Uh, but now I wanna go ahead and test out Geekbench 4 just for the graphics themselves and see what kind of a performance difference we can expect. All right, our tests are running. I'm using the OpenCL test because the MacBook can do metal, and the MSI with NVIDIA, you can have the CUDA technology, but we're gonna just keep it at a level playing field. All righty there. Okay. <laughs> so this is why MacBook owners and Mac lovers want Nvidia in their systems. With the 2070 here, the Max Q design, we have 222,000 OpenCL score compared to 79,975. Now, I'm not fantastic at math but that sounds to be about triple the performance with the 2070 Max-Q. And MSI actually has a model of this with a 4K display and with a 2080 as well. So you can get an even better graphics card. And the MacBook, this is the best that we can get. And if you guys saw my previous videos, the biggest limitation with this MacBook Pro is the graphics card. Now finally, let's get into the RED 8K playback and editing. So here in front of me, I have RED Cine X open. This is RED's program. You could do a ton of stuff in it. And they worked with NVIDIA to enable the awesome power of these graphics cards to be fully utilized with this codec and make a huge difference in performance. Let's start out with my MacBook Pro here as a baseline. I'm gonna hit play. All right, we are buffering, we get a few frames. As you could tell, this is stuttering like crazy and we're maxing out the system and we are not getting anywhere. And it looks like we got ourselves a solid four and a half frames per second instead of 25. Now, one thing that we could do is drop down 4K playback. And as you can see, we get a few more frames, but that same issue where we're glitching up and uh, not being able to play this back. Now with the NVIDIA Studio laptop, if we're not making use of that GPU magic, even here at 1080p playback, let's go ahead and play. It's gonna buffer a little bit as you guys can see. 
We start playing back. Bam, we stop there. We're dropping frames. And even with an 8-core i9 CPU, super powerful, even at 1080p, it is not being able to play it back, right? This is where RTX 2070 comes in. Let's hit this magic GPU button. Let's hit play. Voila. Of course, that is as a quarter. It's actually rendering everything way ahead of time. This is 4K. No problem. It's still playing back without drop frames and it has rendering ahead of time. And now the moment of truth, set it to full resolution, full 8K, 25 frames per second, live without dropping frames. We're actually rendering slightly faster with a queue ahead of it. I cannot believe it. And this is with the 2070, not the 2080 max Q. We're getting full 8K playback, full resolution. And this is with the LUTs applied. So this is the full grade. As you can see, we have a graded image here. Let's see that one more time without any proxies, without transcoding on the fly on a fairly inexpensive, thin, laptop like this. This is the future of video editing, harnessing the graphics and being able to do stuff like this. So thank you, Nvidia. Thank you for pushing the boundaries. Thank you, Red. Uh, Red did release the Windows API right now. Anybody can download it and put this power into their programs and be able to access all of that. Uh, we are gonna be testing out Premiere Pro, but they have not yet updated uh, Premiere with this API that should be coming hopefully fairly soon here. They've been making lots of updates recently and starting to push the performance uh, quite a bit if you guys saw my previous uh, videos. But still, even without this API that is absolutely incredible, we still have a ton of power in these RTX graphics as you guys saw with the OpenCL test. We have the 8K footage here at half resolution, so we're playing back at 4K now. Let's go ahead and start it up. I have dog ears enabled, that way you can see what is going on. It looks like we're playing back at about 24, 23 frames per second. And on the MacBook, we are playing at 9.5 frames per second. So as you see, we're mainly using the CPU, not that much of these powerful graphics. And as soon as the API gets integrated, that is gonna flip and we can play this back at full resolution 8K. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna absolutely blow your guys' mind. It blew my mind when I tested it out. Here we have 4.5K Red Raw. Now, let's export this project. This is where stuff got very interesting. And if we look at the system performance while we are doing that, now we're getting about 76% uh, GPU usage, 81% GPU usage. So when we're rendering, uh, we're actually getting much more utilization of that graphics card compared to the timeline. And on our Mac, the graphics is maxed out. The CPU is actually maxed out. So we have four minutes for five minutes of 4.5K Red Raw and just over 15 minutes with the MacBook Pro. I didn't believe it myself until I re-ran this multiple times, try to make sure that everything was set correctly, and it was. This is why we need really good graphics in laptops if you guys are gonna be trying to do uh, raw editing. Now that was 4.5K Red Raw from the Raven, but of course this is a video about 8K video. So let's do an 8K test. I have my YouTube preset right here. This is 8K going into 4K for upload to YouTube. You guys can see these status bars by your guys' selves. <laughs> the MSI is basically done here and look how far we've gotten uh, with the MacBook. So the results are in and that took 23 minutes and 12 seconds compared to five minutes and eight seconds. Once again, a massive difference, and the difference would be even greater as soon as that API gets put in, it will be even better. And just like we saw in Red Cine X, we can play back full resolution, 8K raw, perfectly smoothly, which is absolutely crazy. So I am really glad that Nvidia created the Studio Laptop program, where if somebody wants to pick something up, they don't know a ton about systems, they know that if a laptop is certified by Nvidia, it's gonna have really good hardware, it's gonna have drivers that are gonna be reliable, and you can pick it up and start using it without having to think too much into the system, just grab something that's gonna work. So thank you once again to Nvidia for uh, working with me on this video, 
opening up my eyes and seeing what is now possible. Uh, I heard the announcement a while back and it kind of blew my mind, so it's nice to see this hands-on. Uh, and of course, I will have a link to both this MSI laptop down in the description and along with a link to NVIDIA's page if you guys want to find out more information about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them. This has been Max, and I will see you guys in the next video.